Hi, I'm Rob Beresford. This is my trusty mechanic dog, Lola. We're here for Wiki Speed and OSC. Yeah. Today we're going to be looking at a wheel upright. The wheel upright holds the wheel onto the car. All of the suspension components, steering components, and brakes attach to the wheel upright. It's this black piece my dog's pointing to right here. Mm -hmm. It's a black cast heavy piece. Difficult to make by yourself. You'd need a foundry and probably some pretty good design skills. Our solution is a modular wheel upright. As you can see, it's made of a whole bunch of plates of quarter inch aluminum that'll all bolt together with aircraft grade bolts. Right. That makes it something that can be made in a garage with simple tools such as a drill press and a bandsaw. Um, you'll notice that there's a lot of metal being held together by a lot of bolts. I want to talk about that for a second too. Anytime you're bolting two pieces of metal together with multiple bolts, there's a chance of possibly bending, warping, or breaking the metal. Places you would find this in a car would be where the transmission case mates to the engine block, where the cylinder head mates to the engine block, and one that everybody's familiar with is where a metal wheel mounts to the wheel hub. So I'll start with that today and show you is this in this example of how to do that properly so that you don't damage the metal. Okay, so we get the wheel on there and we're going to spin the wheel lugs onto the studs real quick just to get it kind of holding. And that's always a little bit easier said than done. And since my dog's walked away, I've got to do it by myself. Okay, there's one. There's another. Okay. Why are you doing that? Can you talk about why uh, you're trying to change the, the knuckle? The, um, oh, upright? yeah, that's a great point. As I said, the existing knuckle's made of cast metal. It would require at least a foundry. It's a complex part, right. difficult to make for the average person, and heavy. Our piece is all made of aluminum, so it's which, going to be light and able to be manufactured at home. Which is what Wikispeed and OSE <coughs> believes in. That's right. Lighter, more modular, easier to build, correct? Yeah, exactly. So that's so, why we did that. So I finger tighten all the bolts on. There's, there's a, actually I should call those nuts, and they go on the wheel mounting lugs, which were those bolts that were sticking out of the wheel hub. I'm just going to use the tool to hand tighten them. Here's the part that I wanted to show you. Now that they're getting pretty tight, the natural thing a person might do would just be to go ahead and go in a circular pattern. So they'd start here and they'd start tightening up this one and then they'd get it nice and super tight and then they'd go to the next one, nice and super tight, continue around counterclockwise. I think what you could see that could happen there though is you can end up with half the bolts as tight as could be but the other half aren't tight at all. It's from there that you can get warpage and, and cracking when you're bolting things together. So what we do is call the star pattern. So I'll start here, and I'll get this one kind of tight. Not very tight, though, just a little bit of light pressure on this long wrench. Right. Now I go across to one of the opposite ones. In this case, I'll do this one. We can't go directly opposite because there's an odd number of bolts. And I get this one about the same tightness. Now I jump across to this one, and I get it about half tight and so on. So basically to counter the force in each right. direction. Okay. So the pattern I'm taking isn't circular, it actually makes a star. Now I'll keep doing that right. over and over again, going around the wheel. Ideally, I set them to the correct torque, and those torques are usually listed by manufacturers. That's the twisting force that you're trying to actually achieve. And you can get that exact with a tool like this. This is a torque wrench. You turn the handle, there's a little graded thing on it to, to whatever foot pounds the reading is and then you and then you go and what happens is as you're as you're tightening the bolt at when it exceeds the twisting force that you've set it at what will happen is the head will, will kind of bend a little bit it's hinged right there it'll kind of it'll kind of kink over and that's your signal to stop that you've achieved the torque that you intended to achieve be particularly careful when you're using aluminum parts with aluminum it, Going to the exact torque is usually very important because aluminum's not as strong as steel. So, so two, uh, two things we learned today was what in this? Oh, well, the benefits of going to a modular wheel upright design, lighter, able to be manufactured from locally sourced parts in people's garages everywhere, right. really a superior part, easier to prototype, easier to make changes to, and you don't need a foundry to make it. And then using proper tool technique as you go saves you time and money. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.